Hi. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, controlling your thumb technique. This is both for beginners and maybe a little bit more advanced. Because especially when playing on the open E string and getting a groove out of that, playing quarter notes and eight notes. So for this line, I just played. What I do to control how long the notes should be, for instance, in this, this instance where I'm playing go up, one, two, I'm stopping the note on two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, on the open E string we have to, because I'm, I'm, I'm uh, muting or stopping the note on two and four, so I have to, what I'm actually doing in my right hand is I'm playing all the quarter notes like this but in my left hand first and foremost I'm putting my first finger on the two top strings to not to make them silent all the time and then I'm actually on two and four I'm just doing this this motion, and actually you're gonna use that later when doing some uh, some more advanced slap stuff. But for now, I'm just muting the strings, so it's one, two. At, at the same time, I'm hitting the two on my with my right hand. I'm slapping down on the string. I'm muting it. It should come at the same time. I can try and play the same thing on a not an open string like on the G here. Then I won't be using the slapping of my left hand, but I'm just lifting the finger off the fret. It's here, lifting my finger off the fret. But we don't have that luxury on the open string, so we have to use other means of muting, muting it. So it's like. And if you if you hear a record where you're just hearing a boom, boom, what the bass player would most certainly do is actually playing also the ghosted notes. It keeps keeping the rhythm. So I'm playing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I'm putting emphasis on the one and the three and the one. And here I'm choking the note with my left hand. The hammer on. I'm actually, since I'm, I'm, my first finger is always like in this position ready to make a hammer on. In this instance we are playing E and I'm, my finger is on the D on the A string. And the hammer on starts on the D, I just press it down, make a hammer on to the E. It's a quick hammer on, it's a 216 notes before the one. One, two, three, four. So it's one, two, three, four. And you can decide if you want to go with I, I use the sometimes the the fourth finger with the third to supporting or sometimes just the third. That depends on what, what kind of a line it is. Um, and of course, if, if I'm up here, I would use the third finger down here, maybe the fourth. Try it again. One, two, three, four. Here I was actually playing one, two, up to three. We also just play a whole bar of two, three, four. Let me try and play the same line on G, where we don't have that uh, luxury of, uh, or actually where we have the luxury of just stopping the string by lifting the finger. 
And here's the other problem is when we have been slapping on the E string and come up to slap with the thumb on the D string. That's also something to practice because now I'm playing this style where I have my thumb rather uh, upwards, whereas my, some players play downwards with the thumb. But if, by doing the downwards more, it's harder for me to have a precise strike of the, the the upper strings because I hit I hit a lot of so in this I, I can be more precise with the thumb in this way just hitting the note right on the string I want and not uh, hitting the other strings and of course again you you use your first finger here to to make sure that the strings not supposed to sound are muted at least in this where I have to play from the F to the G so my first finger is actually covering the G string too, just to prevent it from sounding out if I accidentally should should hit it here with the right hand. So it's and. Uh, in the start, I was also playing this, where I was doing a pluck instead of a hammer-on pluck instead of a hammer-on thumb on the top string. So, if you can see my, my left hand here, it still has this kind of uh, the first finger covering uh, uh, the, the, the top three strings here, and the same applies when I'm moving the whole hand to play the top note here. I'm just, just for a moment, taking my first finger up to the G string to play the D and the E. It's the same, same two notes, just an octave above it. Actually, when I'm playing E now, I'm playing in a, it could be a minor or dominant seven mode, and I'm playing the, the seventh, the, the flatted seventh up to the, the boot note, and here we have the boot note again. Same applies here. And look at my left hand, it moves like this, uh, this unit, so I'm... And when I'm doing the, the ghosted note here, I'm moving the hand to be in position to play the, the next the next note here. So if I do that ultra slow, one so on so two so on so three two da ba do ba do ba move move. You can see here I have the where I have the three strings covered here. When I go up to this place I move for a second my first finger and in the, in the, in the instance I've done the hammer on, my first finger goes back to mute the other strings here. Okay, so let's play the whole line again. Three and four. So you can see it's a matter of keeping the rhythm. It's like you're, you're your own metronome when you slap. I hope this helps a bit. Thank you.